He's got his backpack and fishing gear The little man's on the loose Mountain climbing, kayak and zip flying a bass fishing No telling what he's gonna do Going on an adventure with Casting Carter That's what we're gonna do There's no telling where we're gonna go today Oh, come on, take a bite on that hook, fish, eh? Today we're going out striper fishing with Larry and I really hope we catch some big ones because stripers they just pull and they're really fun to catch. why I love striper fishing so much. Because striper fishing, it's just really fun because you just get a bite and you're like just reeling it in and then like kind of just pull you. So it's like just really funny. Um, floor Are you just gonna leave that there? No, we're gonna. What we're gonna do with these is hang on to the rod. You're gonna watch that balloon swim until it just about until it gets to the lobster trap. You don't want it to get tangled up there. Hopefully, it'll swim away from the boat. <clears throat> Sometimes you might have to give them a little help and pull them back in and cast them. You know what else we can do? I can move these other lines. You can fight it from the gunnel if you want. Yeah, that's a nice like one, that. Carter. Nice. Just like that, bud. You can lift him just like a bass because he doesn't have teeth. Awesome. The fish, when it comes out, it catches him right in the lip, just like that. Yeah. It's exactly how they're supposed to work. Yeah. And that's a circle hook? Yeah. 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 And, and what I mean, else could... that's the, the the law, you have to use circle hooks. Ah. And uh, what I was going to tell you, Carter, is those hooks are designed that you don't need to hook set. Like a regular, they hook set themselves. You just reel it in. Like yeah, you don't have to hook set with those. Because when they start running, they hook set themselves. Yep. The legal limit of um, straight bass is 28 inches, and you can only keep one. So that's why we're trying to like just get a really good fish, and then we're going to keep that one. And how big is that one? It's 26 inches. Let's go ahead and all pick right. them up. Or I'll grab them if you want. We'll toss them right back in the water. Got them? Yeah. Gotta put them in head first. So yeah. Take them right off. Yawn. Just like that. Good job. Good job, Carter. All right, tell me about your first. This is hand sanitizer. What's that? Yeah, Jesus. hand sanitizer. <laughs> Nice work. I was just gonna do that so like if I touch the line, they'll think that another striper was already on it, so I'll just go bite that. That's a good idea. <laughs> Alright, tell me about your first striper on the boat. So the first striper on the boat was a really big one and it was really nice to catch. Like it started out like way over there on that white buoy and then it just came all the way to the boat. 
and I'm not kidding, but it was just really big. Wait, can you see the bait? The, the, the thing that's chasing it? See him? Right there. Yep. Oh, I see it. Yep. I don't know if they make a polarized, but what's polarized uh, camera lens. See him right here? He's right on it. Oh, wow. See him? Oh, yep. I see it. Do you see it? Carter, I saw the striper behind it. See the striper? No. Can you see it? No. Watch, you might even see it hit. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I saw that. I saw the spoolie come up behind. Oops, Reel in a little bit of the slack, Carter. Huh? Reel in a little bit of the slack. So when you get a fish bite, the fish just pulls and you just get really excited. So that's how it feels when you get a fish bite. Here's this live well that Larry created. It's just this trash can with a, a tube that goes out to the water and it brings it in. So today we are using mackerel and herring and this is a herring. And then this is a mackerel. scales there are and then that's how old they are. Just like the rings on the tree. Hi, I'm Kessie Carter from Canals and today we're here with Larry Dennis from Hardcore Anglers. So Larry, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Sure. So do you know any good lures for stripers for kids? Um, I would say if I was a kid fishing from the shore I would use a, it's called a sluggo. There's also Daddy Mac Lures makes a Tim Moore Outdoors signature lure. Um, and it's, uh, it's a little white. They come in white and black, and they've got a lot of action to them. And those seem to catch a lot of, a lot of uh, nice, small, swimming stripers. Um, other than that, any, any, any kind of soft plastic is going to do. So for the next question, why do you use balloons? So what we like to do with the balloons is when we blow them up, we can, depending on what depth we're at, we can set this balloon to wherever we can see the fish so we know that the fish is going to stay within that range, that our bait is going to stay within the range. We adjust our balloon down 6, 8, 10 feet. If they're at 10 feet, we can put it down to 20 feet. And that's going to ensure that, that the fish is going to stay within that range and not go any deeper. Uh, we can use weights to keep them down as well. But the balloon also tells us kind of where our baits are at, where our lines are at, so that we can tangle. If we have more than two people on the boat, it's kind of tough to keep track of lines because the fish want to swim all around everywhere. And they're fun at the end of the day. You can 
party favors. So, what depth do you normally do to catch stripers? Uh, stripers are pretty much at every depth, uh, depending on where the food are at. They like to follow the food. <clears throat> they like to follow certain temperatures in the water. And they <clears throat> usually follow around structure. So if there's a big rock pile, that they like to pick crabs and lobsters out of, or other bait fish that like to hide in the rocks, they'll, they'll stick around at those depths. Stripers are primarily structure-born fish. They like to fish around rock piles, jetties, uh, any kind of uneven ground is where you're going to find them. Very versatile. They, they swim up into fresh water or in salt water. Um, you find them all over the place. It's really cool. So, do you have anything that you want to say to these people? Well, I think that uh, <clears throat> if you have a chance, you can look on um, Sudden Soda website. I'll give you a couple of good spots to fish from the shore. Uh, there's also on the uh, New Hampshire. Fish and Game website, there's a whole list of charter boat captains that will take you, put you out on striped bass and other a wide range of fish um, if you want to go striped fishing. But if you can't, if you can't get out, find a bridge, find a find a pier, find a uh, jetty. There's plenty of them around. Uh, use chunk bait. You can rig up some mackerel chunks. You can rig up some sea worms and uh, just throw them down, sit there and wait. And eventually. Look up. We're hardcore anglers. We uh, run striper fishing charters in Kittery and Portsmouth. Um, we do striped bass, flounder, cod, haddock. Well, not cod anymore, but um, haddock. We go out for tuna here in a couple weeks. Uh, it's going to be some fun times. We catch a lot of sharks, lots of fish. And uh, you can find me on Facebook, Hardcore Anglers, or HardcoreAnglers.com. We'll see you next time. And thank you. Larry. You're welcome. Had a good time together. Yeah. Good job. I can't wait until you go for start for sure. Yeah.